cruise line drink packages, specifically MSC Cruise Lines drink packages. What's included in them? How much do they cost? And are they worth getting? Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. And today we're continuing our series on cruise line drink packages. And today we're going to be talking about MSC Cruise Lines, their drink packages, what's included in each one, how much they cost, and is it worth it for you to get one of their drink packages? First, let's start off with what's included with your cruise fare. So you do have some basic beverage options that are available with your base cruise fare on MSC. And that's going to be your standard stuff like non-bottled water, drip coffee, tea, milk, and a small selection of juices. And those will be included with your cruise fare at no additional cost. Now, anything beyond that, you are going to have to pay for it. It is going to be an upcharge, whether you get one of the drink packages or you purchase on a per drink option. So let's take a look at what drink packages MSC Cruise Lines has. So we're going to start off with the easy package. Now, this includes a selection of classic cocktails, beer, a selection of house wines by the glass, mixed drinks and non-alcoholic cocktails, soft drinks and fruit juices by the glass, bottled mineral water, and classic hot drinks like espresso, cappuccino, cafe latte, and hot tea. The easy package covers all of the above served in bars, the buffet, and main restaurants, as well as Ocean Key and other exclusive destinations. Now, if you pre-purchase the package, it is $38 per person per day. If you wait and purchase it on board the ship, it is $44.70 per person per day. All right, so next we have the Easy Plus Packs. Now this is gonna include popular frozen drinks, classic cocktails, well spirits, liquors, you know, a selection of wines by the glass. You get a 10% discount of bottles of wine purchased on board, a wide variety of draft and bottled beers, non-alcoholic cocktails, soft drinks, mineral water, coffee drinks, and hot chocolate and teas. Now the Easy Plus package can be used in bars, the buffet, main restaurant, and specialty restaurants, plus Ocean Key and other exclusive destinations. Now if you pre-purchase the Easy Plus package, it is $51 per person per day. If you wait and purchase it on board, it will be $60 per person per day. The third drink package is the premium extra package. Now this is beverages priced up to $15. You get an extensive variety of frozen and classic cocktails, premium brand spirits. You get a selection of wine and champagne by the glass. You get 25% discount on bottles of wine and champagne purchased on board the ship. You get the entire selection of draft, craft, and bottled beers soft drinks, fruit juices, mineral waters, and energy drinks, coffee drinks, hot chocolates, and teas. And this package can be enjoyed in bars, buffets, main restaurants, and specialty restaurants, as well as Ocean Key and other exclusive destinations. Now, if you pre-purchase this package, it is $71 per person per day. If you purchase it on board the ship, it is $83.53 per person per day. So that is the three alcoholic packages that MSC Cruise Lines, you can see they kind of step up from the smallest package up to the next two levels of packages. While the lowest package, you know, cannot even be used in a specialty restaurant. And then it kind of goes up the next level. The, the drinks can be up to $9, then up to $15. So each one of those packages gets a little bit better or includes a little bit more along the way, more places that you can use it more options that you can pick from. And of course the price goes up right along with each package level as well. But you can look at those three and see which one of those three provides the options that you are looking for, the types of drinks that you want versus the price that you're willing to pay. Now MSC also has some non-alcoholic drink packages. So if you're not a big drinker but still want the ability to get a drink package, MSC does have options. So you have the alcohol-free package. Now this includes a wide choice of alcohol-free cocktails, soft drinks, energy drinks, mineral water, flavored water, fruit juice, your coffee drinks, hot chocolate and teas, and soft serve ice cream. The alcohol-free package can be enjoyed in our bars, self-service buffet, 
casual and main restaurants, Ocean Key, and other exclusive destinations. Now for the alcohol free package, if you pre-purchase it, it is $26 per person per day. And then on board the ship, it is $30.59 per person per day. Now MSC also has a miners package. Now this includes alcohol free cocktails, soft drinks, energy drinks, mineral water, flavored water, fruit juices, a selection of coffee drinks, hot chocolate and hot teas, and soft service ice cream. Now for minors age three through 17 on European itineraries and ages three through 20 on North American and Caribbean itineraries who are part of a group family purchasing an adult package. Now the minors package can be enjoyed in select bars, self-service buffets, casual and main restaurants, Ocean Key, and other exclusive destinations, just like all the other packages. If you pre-purchase the package, it is $17 per person per day, and on board, it is $20 per person per day. So that is all of the drink packages on board MSC Cruise Lines. But with any cruise lines, any drink packages, of course, there are restrictions, there are rules that they expect you to follow and maintain with these drink packages. And there's also a specific reason why they have a minor's package because yep, if the adults in a cabin purchase one of the drink packages, even if they include alcohol, the minors in that cabin must also have a drink package, which is why they have a minor's drink package. But let's take a look at some of the restrictions on the drink packages. So beverage packages are not transferable and may not be shared with other guests. Valid for one beverage only per order. Violation of terms may result in cancellation of a guest package without eligibility for a refund or credit of any kind. Packages are sold on a per cruise basis, not a per day or any other basis. Pricing applies to each day of the cruise except for disembarkation day. Once activated on board, packages cannot be terminated or refunded. And packages must be booked by all guests occupying the same cabin, traveling together, and wishing to dine at the same table. This includes minors for whom the minors package must be booked. So that's something really important to keep in mind that if you have two adults and two children over the age of three, you know, staying inside the same cabin, dining at the same table, all four people must have a beverage package if the adults have a beverage package. You have the option for nobody to have a beverage package, but if one person has it, everybody has to have it, which is why MSC has a minor's package, and that only applies to children that are over the age of three. If you're under the age of three, you do not have to have a package. But if you're gonna sail on MSC, that's something to keep in mind. As adults, if you're looking at a drink package, you're also gonna to have to look at a drink package for the kids. Packages are not obligatory for infants under three years of age. The following exclusions apply. Tobacco, souvenir glasses, ice cream menu, retail items, mini bar, room service, promotions and signature events, including Vinci 1878 establishments, Lavaz coffee shops, Jean-Philippe chocolate coffee and crepes, and gelato, regardless of the beverage price. Must be of legal age to consume alcohol. Other conditions and terms may apply. Beverage and liquors may be substituted based on availability in itinerary. Now these drink packages do work on MSC's private island of Ocean Key, and MSC does not have a drink limit on board for the number of alcoholic drinks you can purchase per day. You know, Carnival has a 15 drink limit per day. MSC does not have a drink limit. Now, one other thing that MSC does differently than a lot of the other cruise lines is you do not have the option to bring any beverages on board the ship with you. So you cannot bring your own soda, you cannot bring your own water, you cannot bring your own bottle of wine or champagne. The only exception to that could be distilled water for medical uses or certain types of water and formula for infants. You just have to let MSC know ahead of time. But no taking on any 12 packs of soda, 12 packs of water, no taking on your own energy drinks or your own bottle of wine. So once you are on board an MSC cruise ship, it is either the available drinks that come with the cruise fare, that small selection, 
purchasing the drinks either one at a time on board a ship or getting one of these drink packages. So that brings up the question, are the drink packages worth it on board MSD cruise ships? And I've said it in each one of the videos that we've talked about when it comes to drink packages. Again, it is really up to you and how you consume beverages, what type of beverages you want, how many different types of that beverage are you going to want. Here is an example of what beverages cost on board the cruise ship. So you're looking at beers, six to seven dollars each, cocktails anywhere between six and thirteen dollars. You have your soda, your juice, energy drinks at four ninety five. Your bottled water could be anywhere between two seventy five and five fifty, and your specialty coffees between two dollars and fifty cents and four twenty five. So the easiest way to kind of figure that is to kind of guesstimate how much of each one of these drinks would you drink on a daily basis add at that number and see if it is more than the cost of purchasing a drink package. Couple other tips to remember about drink packages is while they do work on the private islands of MSC on Ocean Key, if you stop in a regular cruise port, you know whether it's one in the Caribbean, say Nassau, Bahamas, Jamaica, whatever the case may be, you get off of the ship, your drink package does not work. So you could be off the ship for eight hours, more than one time during a cruise, visiting cruise ports, and your drink package cannot be used to you. So you would only be using it on sea days, first thing in the morning, and then after coming back from visiting a cruise port. And that is just another consideration to keep in mind when determining whether or not it is worth you getting a drink package or not. But it all comes down to the individual and your particular beverage consuming needs. And that is really the best answer that anybody can give you as to whether or not a drink package is worth it. All right, and that is gonna be our video today on MSC Cruise Lines and MSC Cruise Lines drink packages. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.